Top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 18th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had kind of a light, choppy day. Volumes were light, although we did progress to the upside in the indexes. Um, there was a notable and uh, just an anticipation of what comes next as we ramp up with a big group of earnings today. So what does that mean um, for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, when we look at the diamonds, you can see we've got a nice upside move going in here. Interesting little wedging pattern that we've got going on. And we progressed through this bigger level of price resistance in the chart. And now we're up here attempting to pop these um, some of these recent highs in the market. The good news is that we have held above this support area. Remember, this area in the chart we hadn't been able to get above and hold above since um, August of last year. So nice little break and a hold above that area. Now we'll have to see if the data supports us in earnings and economic um, data that would allow us to push us through to some of these um, additional resistance levels in the chart. So if the bulls find inspiration today, I'm gonna suggest a retest of this high here and possibly even a pop just a little bit higher if those bulls can really get going. And if the bears find inspiration today, well, a pullback down in here to test this low might be in the cards, particularly if we break the low of yesterday's uh, candle. So watch that carefully today. Then if we look at our um, S&P 500, S&P 500, as you can see, very, very bullish in this move, but also we have to recognize just how incredibly extended this move is. I know there's an awful lot of bullishness out there, but there is also a tremendous amount of chasing going on in fear of missing out in this move. So that being said, if the bulls can continue to find inspiration in the market, if you look right in here, the next level above would be right about in this area right here. So we might have just, you can see that high right there and this little high right in here. There is a little bit of upside opportunity. Maybe we can test yesterday's highs first to see whether or not we can push on through to the upside. If they can push through that, then I'm gonna suggest these little high tops right in here, right there around uh, 455, 456. Um, area in the chart, maybe just a little bit higher. Um, if the bears find inspiration today, I would suggest a retest of yesterday's low first, and then that possibility that we could really start to pull back and maybe fill some of these gaps back down into this support area of the chart. We take a look at QQQ. QQQ also extremely extended in the short term. Uh, we have an unbelievable desire to buy very high price tech stocks and what they're now calling the Magnificent Seven continues to rally hard as there just seems to be no um, concern whatsoever about um, the price of these stocks heading into earnings. Now, that being said, if we can continue to show that bullishness in the chart, maybe a retest of these highs here. We just squeaked out a little bit higher yesterday um, in the QQQ on a relatively low volume day. If we can push through that, you can see the next level up would be somewhere right in here. So if they can really push through, look for that area up here to be tested. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, I would look for maybe a pullback into this area right here first. If that area 
were to fail, then I would suggest that we're going to come back down and test this area here in the chart. Notice that we really haven't had any kind of a pullback test. I'm leaving this red for the moment. We need a little bit more uh, confirmation that if, uh, if there's a pullback attack that we can hold. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM had a really good day yesterday. Bullish engulfing candle pushing through You'll want to kind of keep in mind that we have a little bit of a double whammy here. We've got this price resistance right through here, and we've got this downtrend testing um, the bullishness here in the market to see whether we have enough energy to push through. If we do have enough energy to push through that area, the next level up, as you can see, maybe just a little bit higher right in here. And if they can push through that, I would suggest we're going to test some of these highs right in that area. Now, if the bears find inspiration today and you can see that possibility where they could just running into all of that price resistance, then a little bit of pullback in here to retest this support would seem to be a logical place. And if that were to fail, then I would suggest we come down into here. All of these pullbacks that I'm suggesting in the market don't change the bullish um, look of the indexes at all. As a matter of fact, um, I think it'd be a healthy thing for the market to do. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX showing virtually no fear here. It is interesting as we tr continue to press to try and make new highs, we still have not been able to make a new low in the VIX. So something to be paying attention to. If those bulls really get moving and we really drop this fear, and I think we're reaching areas of complacency here in the market, then I would look for this area to break and we would push on lower. If the bears find inspiration, well, look for a retest of that resistance in that area of the chart. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 continues to flash that overbought condition in the market. And although we pulled back a little bit, relieving some of that pressure, yesterday we rallied right back up into that um, area that's near the danger zone. So if we can find bullish energy today in the data, look for a pop up into here. Remember, we don't have much upside opportunity here. Um, even on good data, it's, it's like everyone is in the market. Of course, we're attracting new money to the market all the time, but everyone is kind of in. And so if we find some reason for the bears to do something at all, if the bears decide to attack, just keep in mind, it could be a rather swift move to the downside because folks will be pulling the plug on trades, running for the door, trying to capture gains. Um, if we start to sell. Now, um, one of the things I continue to suggest is if you're long this market and continue to hold long positions, then I would raise stops in those charts and be paying close attention to the possibility that a pullback could occur at any time. And then if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 was a little bit on the flat side yesterday uh, while we were continuing to rally. It just really didn't go much of anywhere, but we are continuing to hold in a very bullish pattern here. There's nothing to fear right now in this chart, other than the fact that we're a little bit overbought. Notice when we reach up in this area, I'm, I'm going to go beyond saying just a little bit overbought. We are overbought um, in the market and we're pressing into that very risky area of the market where if anything, anything inspires those bears, we can have a substantial pullback. So watch that closely. Same thing is true with T2107. Now T2107 had a little bit better day hook to the upside just a little tiny bit. This is a very, very bullish chart. But once again, we're reaching that area up here where we're pretty overbought in, in this position. I would say T2122 probably had, or uh, T2107, percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average, has the best opportunity to move up a bit more before we reach that super, super frothy area here. And we would look for um, some major downside. If we take a look at our um, T2101, 
T2101, our market breadth, we had just a little bit of a hook starting to show up yesterday that that market breadth may shift. So if we get that shift here then and we see those bears come in and attack, then watch that closely here for that potential reversal in the market. Um, so just be a little bit on guard. Don't be um, overly buying or chasing markets. Make sure you're uh, planning your trades carefully and you're not trading with the fear of missing out. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Now our economic calendar has a couple of things that could really be market moving today. First off, retail sales numbers. That's gonna be probably a pretty big number here today. If it shows an improvement as the consensus suggests, that might be bullish for the market this morning and provide that upside inspiration. Yeah, um, then we've got um, industrial production coming out there also suggesting that ticked just a little bit higher in an improvement. So watch those carefully. That could be the bullish inspiration for the day to move things along. We're gonna have business inventories, housing market index as well. Unfortunately, it's showing that the housing is uh, a consensus is suggesting it ticks higher as well housing prices so that would not make the fed very 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 happy now just keep in mind with that consensus suggesting all of these um, improve just a little bit just um, and note what could occur if they happen to miss then on the earnings calendar, my goodness, we're starting to ramp up on the earnings. And one of the things I want to point out is if you um, are trying to keep up on all of the notable earnings, then I would suggest that you make sure and acquaint yourself with the link that will take you back to the morning blog. Um, that link in the blog will be just below the title of the video. And um, you can catch that full list of notables because very, very soon I will not be able to cover them all. I'm going to run through these really quickly today so that we can get a look. BAC has already reported this morning and not really going anywhere um, um, in the pre-market. So keep an eye on that. We've got BK moving lower here this morning. We've got Schwab kind of spinning around, not doing much of anything here on um, earnings reports. So watch that close. We've got Hasbro that will be reporting today, trying to move up just slightly. IBKR. LMT will be reporting today. It looks like it's trying to move just a little bit higher. We've got Morgan Stanley reporting this morning. A little bit of a shooting star showing up there on Morgan Stanley. Um, NVS, nice gap up, a little pop and drop going on in NVS so far this morning, but a bullish move all, albeit. Um, OMC will be reporting today. We'll hear from PNFP today. We've got PNC Financial reporting. It looks like a disappointment there so far this morning. PLD reporting today. SYP. And, whoops. SYP. Is it SPY? It's, no, it's not SPY. I've got a, a ticker bat. I'll have to fix that. And WAL um, reporting today, uh, Western Alliance. So watch those carefully. So with that, guys, let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. And also a big shout out to everyone who shares these videos out on their social media feed. It helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence 
be very, very careful. A lot of volatility is likely to occur in the market with the data points that we're seeing um, in earnings and um, the economic calendar for the rest of this week. So be prepared for considerable volatility to show itself. And what that means is, is we can have gap up opens, gap down opens. Remember, very, very soon we're going to start hitting some of those market moving reports that come in after the bell. So we could have everything shift overnight, either better or worse. So be prepared for that. And remember that um, anytime you place a trade, anytime you're thinking about a position, make sure you check those earnings reports before you do so that you don't jump into a position right before it reports and you end up with that great big ugly um, thing that can occur um, when you do that. Um, first off, let's take a look at um, DNB. Um, this was brought up by um, one of the members of Rightway Options yesterday, and I went ahead and placed a price alert on this chart. Uh, done at Brad Street, you can see has been moving up in this upside trend um, and looking pretty good. We're pulling back to hold this price support area of the chart. So what I'd want to see is that pushing on through to the upside. Keep in mind, reports on 8.3. So make sure you pay attention to that. Nice little setup though, could be coming in the chart. And by the way, this is something very different than I do than what it seems like the, the majority of folks do in the market. Everyone seems to be searching for and looking for the big white candles, the, the big pop. That's what their all of their scans are looking for. What I am looking for is the resting pullback or the consolidations in the market. And then it allows me to place price alerts on the chart so that I can um, enter those trades when the stock pops back up. Now, I don't know where my price alert is located right there. Price alert right in there. So if this were to pop right back up and trigger right in that area, um, that gives me a relatively low risk entry on the trade. I don't have to predict the bounce. I have to wait for the buyers to step up here. So if you guys find that interesting, you might want to come and check us out with some of our trial memberships over in right way options where I can show you how that can really change your trading a lot and remove some of that emotion and rushing that so many people are doing it and truly straight up gambling when we're trying to predict that um, something is going to automatically move to the upside just because we saw it. If we take a look at MDT, MDT is one I've been paying attention to. Unfortunately, this one's kind of falling apart. You can see I placed a price alert on this. What I was looking for is this to hold right in this area of the chart and then push right on through. But one of the things we've seen lately is quite a little bit of volatility heading into um, a, a bullish move. So we may be just pulling back here to test these lows in this area and we'll come back up and I'll look for that next pattern to the upside. Remember MDT is still moving in this downtrend so this isn't a major surprise um, that we're struggling in here. But watching this closely because this is one of the AI stocks that really has not performed all that well and I'm looking to see if it can catch up here eventually. So just keep that on a list and watch it. Take a look at Mosaic. Nice little price pattern in here coming up. Um, this is one of those what we call a rounded bottom breakout. Um, very uh, bullish uh, type pattern in here moving upside in a trend. Nice little tight consolidation happening in here. And as the dollar weakens, we're seeing some of these ag inputs, some of the um, commodity prices showing um, benefits to that weakening dollar. So watch this carefully in here. Mosaic could find that buy signal in here soon, pop on through to the upside. Keep in mind reporting on 8.7. You might want to take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's had a really nice day yesterday. As you can see, I had a price alert here in the chart. Um, on this last move that popped up and now right there we're holding right on that price support area of the chart showing bullishness keep an eye on Kohl's 
potentially moving to the upside. And I'll tell you, I saw a lot of these um, making moves up yesterday. Dollar Tree trying to make that move up in retail, pushing up here uh, maybe to uh, fill that gap in Dollar Tree. We had uh, JWN making a move. Nordstrom's trying to get something going here, uh, trying to put in a little tiny higher low possible buy entry point. And there were quite a few of those kind of stocks uh, potentially setting up. Starbucks is another that could be setting up in here, kind of chopping sideways, possible higher low coming into play somewhere in here. You will want to pay attention to the fact that it's going to report on 8.1, however. Let's take a look at a few others in here that are interesting. NWL, nice little uh, pattern showing up here in NWL. This was an original alert line where we popped through. Now we're resting and pulling back. Notice our trend is right in here. Nice little resting pattern. Look for that next opportunity into the chart. Um, I would look for maybe a alert right across here. We can kind of see where we've got that congestion and all these candles. See if that can pop on through and that would may, maybe be that signal as we move out here toward the trend for the next upside move. You will want to keep in mind, however, it's going to report on the 28th of this month. So watch that closely. Um, Occidental. Occidental's pulled back. You can see I had a price alert here on that chart. Uh, made the trade come to me. Uh, popped up through and ran to the upside and then we pulled back really hard. What we're starting to see on the oil sector, even though the dollar is falling, we're starting to see some concern and worry because of the China numbers. Um, they're showing um, growth not as expected. Their restarting of their economy is not going all that well. And there's this concern of demand destruction uh, potentially occurring in the oil sector. So a lot of volatility here, but let's watch this. If we can hold in this little upside trend, there may be that opportunity that that could turn and start moving back to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. And there are several good patterns out there in that oil and gas sector that I would be uh, paying attention to. Um, APA is one of those moving up nicely, resting, pulling back. Might need a little bit more time in here to rest, but I would keep an eye on that. Take a look at Costco. There's another one of those retail stocks just ripping to the upside here. Rest or pullback would set up an opportunity. I would not want to chase this here. Um, take a look at some of the pay systems. PayPal moving up strongly. Now, I wouldn't want to be jumping in on this just yet. As you can see, we're coming into a significant level of price resistance in the chart. It can either rest right in here, continue to follow this upside trend, and you look for the next opportunity, or pop through and consolidate here a little bit and look for that next opportunity keep in mind reporting on eight two so with that guys there's a few stocks for you to be paying attention to i want to wish you all a fantastic day thank you so much for listening i do truly appreciate it and once again thank you so much to everyone who share these shares these videos shares the link out on your social media feed thank you so much that helps a bunch i do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very, very best, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.